Welcome back to Body Beautiful. I'm Janelle Marie. With us today, we have plastic surgeon Dr. Joseph Neely. We're talking about a bunch of different plastic surgery procedures. Any advice we give, to, give you today, consult your own physician, of course. All right, up next, gynecomastia. Yes. So for the people that do not know, what is gynecomastia? Gynecomastia is man boobs. Moobs. Moobs, yeah. Okay. All right, so that seems to be a problem. What is it exactly? Well, it's usually a development of a little bit of that breast tissue that all men have right yes. below, the, right behind the nipple, the areola, the pigmented skin. Okay. And it'll form a disproportionate fullness in that area that may make it hard to wear tight clothes. Or uh, if some people come in to see me in Wanna Creek where it's 100 degrees in the summer, Ugh, wearing yeah. a t-shirt and another shirt and a sweatshirt over it Ugh. to make everything look smooth. Really? Uh, and I know I've done a good job when they can come in with just a t-shirt. <laughs> That's a good sign. <laughs> All right, so do do the breasts have to be lifted like a, a female breast lift when you're doing Occasionally, but usually that's after massive weight loss. So oh, okay. if somebody just has like a little bud underneath their nipple, often right. we can just sneak in there and steal okay. it, take it out. If that if that ha also has a little component of uh, sort of disproportionate fat, then sometimes I use liposuction yeah. to get the rest of the breast knocked okay. down. Uh, but if the skin's redundant, if it's folding over, if the nipple's below that fold, just like with a woman, we want to mm -hmm. do a lift and get it up where it belongs. All right, let's go to the before and after pictures because we can talk more about that okay. when we see them. Let's go to number one because sure. it's interesting. Now, look at this one. Now so it has a bud. Yeah, yeah there's no scarring there. Oh, afterwards? Where are they? It's hard to see. Yeah, I, th I think because we can hide it along the edge of that areola, that pigmented skin okay. around the nipple, okay. between that and the normal colored skin, if the scar is a little dark, it kind of hides in the nipple. If it's mm -hmm. a little light, it kind of hides with the skin. It makes it hard to see. But you can see before, and especially on the far breast, there's a bud there. Yeah, you can see the little bud. So it's not a lot. You can, it's no, just a bud. No, this is so very that... discreet. Yes. But often this will show up at puberty. Uh, okay. Sometimes it will go away. So I always recommend mm -hmm. if someone's 13 years old, you know, wait a year or two yep. to see if it goes away. About half the time it will. Okay. But if it doesn't, then it tends to persist. All right, let's go to picture number two. And will men come in? I mean, what, what you know, causes men to come in finally? It's like, oh, I'm sh it, they chafe? Or, I mean, it's what because is... they watch KRON and they see <laughs> Body Beautiful. Dr. No, Bailey I think a lot of me. my patients come from other patients. It's hard uh, for men to come in. We don't to a... network as well as women. Exactly. But, that's what I'm saying. But it's sometimes like, that'll happen. All right. All right. But, oh, this... but here's a guy, he's a, obviously in good shape. He yeah, couldn't lose weight and make exactly. his breast look smaller because it's not fat. No. It's actual glandular tissue. Uh, uh, so the right breast looks fine. Yeah, it does. I only operate on the left oh, side okay. to try and make it match. Okay. So what I've done is reduce the glandular tissue, reduce a little bit of that sort of that fat that's around it and try and make it even. Very nice result. All right. The next areola picture. reduced on its own too. Oh, I it did? I didn't do anything to make oh, that smaller. Okay. So that was just unstuffing it. Very nice areola. <laughs> he, he came with that. I cannot take credit. Uh, this is another where it's just underneath the nipple. Yeah, just the bud it there. It fills it mm -hmm. out. It's we call it a puffy nipple. Oh, uh, okay. And men and women both get it. Oh, you know, really? But with men, you know, we want everything to look flat. With women, it's usually puffy on the end of the breast. And so women don't really take their puffy nipples out. Not often, but sometimes if they have that to start with, and we're doing breast augmentation, yeah, then we'll want to reduce it okay. and make it smooth. Because it, it might it'll keep that same make shape. the nipple turn a different po position, right? It might make maybe make it. Or sometimes the go implant down. behind will push the gland okay. even more out into the nipple. All right, so, this one. So this oh, is sort of see? globular yeah, enhanced. Okay. So the lower half of the breast is full. So it's fibro fatty tissue. Mm -hmm. So some of it's glandular, some of it's fat. Yeah. Uh, so liposuction alone sometimes will be enough. But if there's glandular tissue, it doesn't come out with liposuction, yeah, then we it. make that incision. And What's the downtime for something like this? Doesn't seem uh, like it'd be like women's. No, Just it's a week like or two. A, it's like a big workout. And you don't have, you know, do, you, do you put them out? Is it local or general? Usually, yeah. Okay. If it's just a little bud, sometimes we do that under local. Okay. If someone tells me they don't want to be awake, then I never try and do gotcha. it awake. I hear you. Uh, but for larger areas, I, I do need to beat them up a little bit, and it's better yeah. to be asleep. So. <laughs> and last picture here? So this is similar to the, to the bodybuilder, just really just big the bud there. fullness mm -hmm. down underneath. It kind of drags the breast down. It looks kind of sad. If breasts can look, have an emotion, yes. they look kind of have sad. Have an emotion. <laughs> but just taking out that and stuffing it, the skin shrinks up. And actually lifts itself. It was in happy this case. after that. So well, it's got good up. elasticity, and yes, that makes all good. the difference. And so, um, and and downtime was a couple of weeks. You don't have to put drains in or anything for anything Unusual. Like that, do you? Uh, some people put them in routinely. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay. I just don't. Uh, all right. Once in a while, I have to drain it. You'll know, we'll have to put a needle in and suck it out. Gotcha. If someone's real oozy during surgery, then I would put a drain in, but it's probably one or two percent of the time. Okay. All right, sounds good. For more information about Dr. Mealy, you can call 925-943-6353 or check them out on the web, drmealy.com or sanfranciscobreast.com. And you've got all the before and after pictures on your website. If people want to check it out, you have tons, I know. So stay with us. We'll be right back with lots more on Body Beautiful.